We're now going to look at another part of grades. If we go into grades, you can see we also have letters. Letters allow you to set a percentage result based on the value uh, of the result. It will show which letter or which grade letter that a student is using. You can set this at a course level. You can also set this at a server level as well. You can go in using edit and edit the percentages which overrides the site defaults just for this course. So we can set A grade to be a different percentage. If you need to change this at a site level, you'll need an administrator to do this, to go through in the administration settings and change the overall grade letters, which you would do uh, if, if all of your courses were based on a different grading. Let's have a look at how we apply this to a course or to an assignment in a course. In our course one, we have an assignment here called assignment one. Let's go to edit, edit settings, scroll down, to grade, make sure we have it on point. We have a maximum grade of 100. If we quickly jump back to our grades and have a look at letters, any of these letters above 60% would normally be classed as a pass. Anything below 60% would be classed as a fail. Let's go to our course, back to our assignment, edit settings, down to grades, and the reason we need to know that was because we need to put a grade to pass, and our grade to pass is 60. Anything above 60 is classed as a pass, or as a pass grade. Out of 100, let's go down to save and display, back to our grades. We can now set a grade, so we can type in a student's grade. They may receive, let's have one pass and one fail. So the first one will fail. We'll give them 55. And the next one will give them 85 as a pass. So we put those results in. We just refresh them. You can see now the 55 is red. The 85 is an actual pass. This doesn't make sense at the moment because I thought we were doing letters. The actual grade number itself still goes into Gradebook, but we need to tell Gradebook how to display that particular result. Let's go to our setup, go to Course Grade Settings, scroll down to Grade Display Type. From here, we can choose Letter. What we'll do though first is go Letter and Percentage so that you can see the numbers that are going in there. Or Letter and Real, either way is fine. Letter and Real. Save changes, back to our gradebook. You can now see that this student received an F and 55% was the actual result of 55 out of 100, 55%. This student received a B with a mark of 85. You may not want to show them the actual numbers, so you can go back to setup, grade settings, change from letter to letter real to just letter. Save changes, and now the student just receives an F for fail or a B for a pass. If we click on here to edit the result, we still need to put in an actual number. And when we refresh the screen, it will then reload to the actual right result. So you still need to put a number in there because the result that they get is an actual numerical number, not a letter. So this student, although they received a B, their score was, let's give them a 90, and we will reload, so they received an A-. minus. So just make sure if you are editing this way, which is not the normal way you would edit necessarily, you would normally go in and do a proper grading. If we did go in to grade this student, let's say we went into the assignment and we said let's grade, if we go back into grade student, you'll see this draft not submitted yet, We'll assume he submitted it, or he or she. And we'll put in a grade of 83 with some feedback of well done. So the actual number out of as a percentage. We'll save that grade, save changes. And you can see now that the grade that comes back through is a B. So the student will receive a grade of B for that particular percentage or that particular number out of 100. We can now go back to our grades, 
grades, grade a report, and you can see that student number one, student, did receive a grade of a B. Student two hasn't received a grade yet because we cleared that out. That's an overview of how you can use letters in your grades, in your grade results, and in Gradebook.